Hello guys, welcome to your 10th lesson in this Vue.js course and we are going to be looking at using custom fonts in Vue.js. So in the last lesson, I mentioned that the fonts we have here is vastly different from what we have here. So how about we fix that? Now there are various ways you could go about it. One way is you could come to fonts, um, the Google fonts right here and the name of the fonts we made use of is actually called Koho and it's one of my favorite fonts. I've used it in tons of projects okay so i'm going to select that and um one way you could do this is you could come okay um i think let's try that again okay we have cool right here all right anyway so we can decide to download the font manually and you can add them right here to your asset folder right here that also works but no that's not what i'm going to do okay so if i should click on this right here and let me come back right here and okay and i'm going i want to select this so once i click on this and okay let's scroll down a bit okay we should see the styles that we want and then we can select this select this select this okay select this select this select this now we can um, use two ways which for, um, Google Fonts provides us. We can either use link pre-connect. So basically I can just decide to come here and copy this and copy and come right here. And inside of my public HTML, I can just decide to add this here. You can do that. And um, that works fine, but I'm not going to do that also. So the third option is we can come right here and then use this at import and come here and let's see let's try that out first so under my assets global.css so i'm just going to come here and then okay let's paste this and once we're done with that what we are expected to do next is okay do this font family so basically what i'm going to do um what i'm expected to do is body and then say something like font family okay if i should save this let me close that i'm not saving that let's see would that work okay yeah we can see that actually work that actually added it but i don't want to do that also instead i'm going to use font source so this basically is going to bundle in the um the css um for the font the um everything needed for the font is going to bundle it with my app and it's going to build it out which um i think it has lots of advantages which is number one you don't um have to make a request basically making this request to um google font this particular url here so that's basically what this option is doing and we don't have to do that basically it's reduced the amount of requests to make everything is already bundled in and optimized so i think i prefer this and i'm going to close this and what i'm basically going to do is i'm going to remove this okay we don't need that and i'm going to come back to font source and on that documentation it has documentation for various uh frameworks okay for um let's see view js and basically what it tells us to do is we are going to um install okay we're going to install but it's not actually giving us the full um thing we need okay so let's go to document just click here and there should be um an option here getting started okay so the getting started here tells how okay we can use maybe either yarn or npm and we can just do at font source um forward slash co -o. so that's basically what i'm going to do right here so let me come back here and then i'm going to spin up another command line and let's say i'm going to say npm i and that is going to be at font source slash co -o. So that's basically just going to install that particular font into my Vue.js app. Okay, so we have this right here. And if I should come here, what I'm going to basically do is, let's look at the documentation again. And it says here, okay, for Vue.js, what we have to do is we have to import this something this way. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that and i'm going to save these come to my main.js and what i want to do is uh before the global.css i want to add it there so and 
what we installed was not open source but coho so and then we have okay coho and coho has from 200 to 700 okay so i'm just going to basically duplicate this so this is going to be 300 400 500 600 and let's remove this and you might be thinking how did i know that it's very simple if you should come right here to font previews and you search for coho and that's coho and you click on this Okay, so we have 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So those are the various variants or weights we have. So I'm just going to basically add everything here. And once we are done with that, let's come back to our view app and let's see did that work. It actually worked fine, just as needed so that's how you can various ways you can add fonts so once again let's recap you can download the font add it to your assets here and then you can basically import it another thing is you can make use of google fonts okay use their link tags or their ads import rule or the third option which i recommend is making use of font source and you can make use of it in any other project maybe um react maybe um angular and so on and so forth so i'm going to see you in the next lesson